Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I'm sitting here in my garage. It's also my shop. It's my man cave and it's my YouTube studio. It's where I make videos, where I do all my work on my trailer vehicles, keep all my tools. So the reason I'm making this video is because I've accumulated a lot of camera gear and I wanted to think about what if somebody was thinking about starting a YouTube channel especially an older person like I was. I started this channel when I was 60 years old. I wanna let you know this video is not sponsored and all the gear, all the stuff you see here, I bought with my own money and I've used it all. So anything I say about it's my own opinion. There will be some links down in the description of the video that you can purchase this stuff and it helps out the channel, helps me out a little bit without raising the cost to you. And I came out of construction, not knowing anything about video, editing, sound, any of that. What, what actual gear, if I was just gonna be an amateur YouTuber, maybe I wasn't even considering thinking about growing the channel. I, I was like that in the beginning. My channel, I, I was looking to grow it to 100 subscribers. And I was like, man, that would be awesome to have 100 subscribers. I've got quite a few more than 100. I still, it's a tiny channel and it's, really a hobby even though I do make a little bit of money off the channel but I was thinking what exactly would you need if you just wanted to start off and try YouTube well what gear would you really need you probably already have one of the most important things which is an awesome camera because you probably already have a pretty good phone whether it's an iPhone or an Android I don't know much about Androids this is being videoed on a on an iPhone 14 right now and I had an iPhone 13 that was pretty good and and what would you need for editing that video you can edit a lot of video on your phone if you have an iPhone you can do some editing with iMovie on that if you have an iPad you might already have an iPad you can do some editing on that if you have a PC I have an iMac that I upgraded to after I lost my beautiful iPad left it on the back of my spare tire of my Jeep. So really, I wanted to think about the things that are really important with making YouTube videos. And of course, the two things that are really important are video and sound. That makes sense, right? Because it's sound and video. But what I would do if I was starting over again is I would not buy a lot of the stuff I had already bought. And I've got a lot of stuff here. I've got the drone and the gimbals and GoPro. And depending on what kind of videos you're making, you, you don't really need all this stuff. You can make great videos just by making your content really awesome. And what I would get is probably three things. I would have my phone, that would be my main camera. I would have something like this right here, right? This is like a, a selfie stick, tripod, mini tripod. Let's say, let's say I'd have four things. I should have said four things. This, this can double as a tripod and it also can be a handle, right? To carry your phone around. I would get my finger into the lens a lot. And so that's why I I realized I needed something like this. And this has been pretty cool. This thing's real adjustable. I can turn it like that. If I want to stretch that out and use it for a selfie stick, I can. It's real simple, cheap. It just works great. The other thing I would have, and I tried a couple different microphones, a couple, several different ways of recording sound. If I was going to be wanting to get good sound, because people will, you can make a really great video, but people won't watch it if the sound is terrible. So if I was gonna start over again, I would go straight to this DJI um, wireless microphone right here. This is a real good one. And I've got the microphone part here, and on the phone, which you can't see, is the receiver. And all these things I'm showing you, it doesn't take a lot of technical know-how. I use automatic settings, basically automatic settings on everything. I, you know, you know it's, so much going on that uh if you want to be a camera expert probably a lot of you out there I'm, no, I'm sure you're a lot better than i am at it but you can just use your phone on automatic settings you can use something like like this to walk around with because the iphone stabilizes the footage really well that you almost don't need a a a, a gimbal a gimbal like this will will make it so you can walk around and you can do a lot of other things with this but you basically it's m most basic function is just making a smooth video while you're walking around. And you can do a lot of other things if you really want to get into it. But if you want to just start off and you want to make some pretty decent videos, I would get four different things. I would get my phone. I would get something like this. I would get some really good microphone like this DJI. This Lewinner, if you were only making videos indoors, this Lewinner is cheap and it works okay. It works with, it's compatible with the phone. Um, this is so much better. That sound is so important. I would definitely upgrade. These are a little bit of a, an expense, but I would definitely get the DJI mic. And there, there's two of them in here. One, two receivers, or two microphones and one receiver. 
So you can have two people talking. And the other thing I would get is, is a tripod because sometimes uh, you might, like I've gone someplace with my wife and I wanted to get a picture of us together. I don't have to ask somebody to hold, to do it. I can put the phone on the, on the tripod and I can just set the timer on the phone and it'll take a picture of us. Or I can, uh, I make a lot of my videos, mostly all of them are made, I'm doing it all by myself. Sometimes I've had my wife there. Uh, she'll, my, my channel is an outdoor channel, outdoor overlanding channel. Just in case you didn't know, you just stumbled on here. I should have probably said that in the beginning. It's an outdoor overlanding channel and I do gear reviews. I do up uh, how to's on upgrading Jeeps and I, I do uh, uh, adventure videos where we go out and, and go to beautiful places and get video. But so the, the uh, tripod and this gets a lot taller obviously. So I would get a tripod, a uh, like a selfie stick deal here and you gotta have the, the thing that holds the phone too. Like this one came with this, snap the phone right in there, and and the microphone. So that that is what I would get. I, I've accumulated a lot more because just I decided I wanted to have more more ability to make different kinds of videos. I got the drone, I got the GoPro because I wanted to do some stuff with that. And it's nice to have an extra camera too. Um, this here, this mess here is all for recording voiceovers on my iMac because since I lost the uh, the iPad, now I use the iMac. But anyways, that's kind of a quick overview. And the other thing I wanted to do is I wanted to encourage you if you are thinking about it, you don't need a lot of stuff like I just pointed out you, you don't even need the tripod really I mean you could walk around you could get a small handle like this as long as you have something to hold the phone you can walk around this can let you walk around I was always getting my finger in the lens so that, that's why I like to have something that I can hold the phone with you can walk around with your phone like this right it's just a lot better to have something to hold the phone though and these these were like six bucks uh, that's that's kind of the stuff I've got and I also want to encourage you if you are thinking about getting a YouTube channel especially you younger people you're gonna know a lot more than I know about YouTube about social media if you're older you're looking for something to do you're retired um, you like making videos of the family do interesting stuff it might be uh, crocheting it might be uh, overlanding like me it might be uh, building something uh, older people have just a whole bunch of knowledge that they could share because if you start thinking about it you, you have a lot to share with all your years of experience if you're like my age and you're retiring um, if you need something that keep you busy and it's an interest to you do it Th this whole thing for me has kind of blossomed into a a pretty big deal uh i've got you know enough subscribers that i can make a little bit of money i mean a little bit too uh and i've also started the website muddyruts.com and i like to write the blog posts that's been something that i started that I, and i do it all myself i don't have somebody helping me i had to fight my way through learning all this stuff i didn't know anything when i retired i wanted to do i worked in construction for 40 years and i wanted to do something completely different than what i had ever done and this is completely different and the other thing is too i like to kind of face my fears and being on camera like this and talking to you I really it was very very nerve-wracking for me and so every time I do it I get a little bit better at it still not that good at it but that is something I wanted to do with with making the videos too I realized that was a little nervous a little scary I thought hey I, I need to really face that and try to get better at it gives you a little encouragement to get out there and try this you don't need to have a lot of gear don't be afraid if, if you don't have a lot of technical expertise I use automatic settings on everything um, get out there and do it give me a thumbs up like the video if you enjoyed it found anything useful here um, think about subscribing there'll be a lot more videos to come really going to be working hard at this this year and the past couple of years it's kind of been a uh just kind of off and on with other things going on illnesses in the family slowed me down but it looks like this year's at this point it's going to be pretty good for really digging in and making a bunch of videos so hit that thumbs up button think about subscribing and leave a comment that really helps with the channel and if you start our YouTube channel you'll realize how important all that stuff is and like I always say in my videos I'll see you on the next one and the best is yet to come